You can always try mushy peas. Good morning. My bottom hurts real bad. Yeah. Like five or ten times worse than yesterday. Like, I couldn't sleep very well. Yeah, she had a hard time going to sleep. And sleeping in general. Yeah. yeah. So. So, ouch. But this is taking away a lot of the pain. Yeah. I went out this morning and went to Panera and got some work done on my paper and now I'm back. It's like lunchtime and I'm editing the vlog and hanging out with these two for a little bit before I go back out and work some more for the rest of the day. So good morning guys and Ollie boy you want to say good morning? Good morning guys welcome to the vlog. You trying on a new outfit? There, so stand him up. And then that goes through there. Oh, yeah. This is so embarrassing, guys. Don't they know I'm a boy? Right? Good job, Ollie. Okay. Now, can you do a dance? <laughs> Ollie. <laughs> So tall. It's a little. T there you go. There you there go. There you go, Bonesy. Voila. Oh, poor Ollie. Oh, poor Ollie. Can you have him stand oh, up again? So Ollie, Look. can you stand up and dance? Come on. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, that's so embarrassing. Look at all these orders. You guys are so awesome. So today we had orders from Hannah, Sophie, Lisa, Nancy, Summer, Grace, Erica, Elle, Kimberly, and Renee. And a few international orders as well. Yeah. If you guys want to order internationally, that's totally fine. Just send us an email. Email is linked below. Yeah. So, and we can process your order. It's so fun to send a piece of the fry life all over the world. Yeah. So. So, I went out and got some work done at Dunkin' Donuts, which, this is the weirdest thing. So there's a 24-hour Dunkin' Donuts, like, pretty close to where we are. And so the other night, I was like, oh, I'll go there and work for a few hours, because, like, it was later at night. And I get there... And it's a pretty big Dunkin' Donuts, like seating area. Like Dunkin' Donuts don't always have a big seating area, but I guess <gasps> it's like a 24 hour on, they had a lot of seats and um, probably, I, I mean, probably like 10 tables. And I go in there, sit down, and then I'm like, oh wait, my computer's running low on battery. Let me find a table with an electric plug. So I walk around the whole place, and there are no electric plugs out Stop in the- Stop it! Yeah. <laughs> True story. My eyes are like, ah! Oh, are they okay? Yeah. That's weird. I think that's so weird that they don't have electrical plugs. Because it's like, I guess so, because they don't want people staying and studying? I don't know. I don't know. Or somebody didn't think of it. I guess. <laughs> So, anyways, I wasn't there too long. Yeah, but, but tonight you. you tonight I was there because my computer was charged. Mm -hmm. Yes. Want to study at Dunkin' Donuts? Make sure your computer's charged. <laughs> that's my little Dunkin' yeah, Donuts that's, ad. That's, you know. I think they should hire you. They they, they should <laughs> sponsor this video because we totally just. If Dunkin' Donuts wanted jingle. to be on Team Fry Life, I'd be I'd be, I'd down be into that. that. Yeah. Would you we, guys like that? We we went through like a Dunkin' Donuts um Boston cream donut phase. I think yeah. we kinda wore it out. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, chocolate on top is really good. Yeah. The pudding inside is really good. The bread part is not my favorite. Fried dough is fried dough. 
Ugh. Yeah, that's not true. Anyways. Have you guys ever had the beignets at the Cheesecake Factory? No, not the Cheesecake Factory. I take it back. The Grand Lux. Grand Lux ca Cafe? Is that what it's called? Grand I Lux Cafe. I think it Cafe. is. Yeah, it's owned by the Cheesecake Factory. We should tell them a story. Oh, Grand Lux Cafe story? Yeah, from Chicago. Okay. From like 2008? Do you think that was the year you gave me that bracelet? I don't know. So, how did that go? I don't know, it was your I birthday. I forgot about that. But the thread, didn't you? Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 wait. Okay, wait, I think it was a summer you worked at camp. Okay. So you were gone like all summer. Okay. So I think you ripped a thread off of your shorts. It was like dangling. Yep. And you yep. tied it on my little left wrist. Yeah. And I think it stayed there for like three months. Which, look at, look at Mary's wrist. It's so tiny. Like a thread is the appropriate size for a bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it was a while that it was, you had I that. I think it was months. And then he took me out for my birthday in Chicago at Grand Lux. And <clears throat> he took off the thread and put on this beautiful bracelet. I love it. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. I think that was not the first jewelry. <clears throat> for our first Christmas. Christmas of 2005, you gave me that forget-me-not flower in the necklace. Mm. Are you allergic to me? I'm allergic to <laughs> something. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. guys, he's going to keep studying. I'm going to do my vest and mist and go to sleep. Yeah. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Good night, Bonesy. You're so silly. Thanks for, let's get a tailbone update though. Oh, one of the reasons I didn't pick up the camera today. When I woke up, it hurt so bad and I didn't sleep well. Did I already say that? Basically, I had trouble sleeping and it was painful and I couldn't get comfortable. I did sleep, but it was like, ugh. And then when I woke up this morning, it hurt so much worse than yesterday. Like, the first night that it happened, it hurt a lot. The second day, it was, like, tolerable. I took Oliver for a little walk and, like, was fine. Third day, I just, you should see me trying to sit on the toilet. <laughs> Sumo wrestler mode. Awkward. Like, it is really pathetic. I was thinking maybe tomorrow we should do, um... How to survive with your your sad your tailbone broken coccyx. and like show like there was a mirror at the end of the hall and I was walking down the hall so I was watching myself walk. <laughs> I am hobbling. Mm. It's pathetic. You poor thing. So it's actually better tonight. I took a bath and took some ibuprofen. So whatever. Yeah. It's fine. Hopefully you'll sleep better. Yeah. So. Hopefully your eyes don't fall out. I know. I'm, <laughs> I'm. There must be like feathers or dust around. Oh yeah, there's a feather pillow. Okay. We're sleeping up in the upstairs bedroom because it it has like a foam topper on the bed, so it was. This Better was for the her night bum. when I slept. I slept up here that first night that I fell, so, and it worked, well. So we'll see. Hopefully I'll sleep better tonight. Yep. And I'll try to get these feather pillows out of here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. We will we'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, Good night. night.